Hey guys, just to drive in the point from the last video, I am, uh, I've expanded the, the, the spreadsheet a bit and we've got three kinds of costs we've got to calculate, uh, three kinds of things we've got to calculate, costs, fuel, and electricity. Those work steps, they, 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 they have cost, a cost per hour of 150, they consume fuel per second, so much, 0 0.13, and they consume electricity per minute, so much. So now we're going to calculate what our costs, how much fuel is being consumed in each work step, and how much electricity is being consumed in each uh, work step. And the way it goes, it's like I explained in the last video. I start, I start my formula like that. There's my duration times not just costs. I gotta fix that so when I when I autofill that, it doesn't change. Put these dollars. So that means when you when you autofill down the, the D2 becomes a D3 etc but the B12 stays fixed that's what we want because all the costs are uh, located in, in B12 now now comes the important bit what kind of factor uh, do I need the costs what are they their cost per hour okay so how many hours are there in a day 24 there you go so these are my costs and I autofill down let's take the fuel Fuel is the same thing. Duration times. There's the fuel cost. I fix that as well. And then, now, what's the fuel? It's per second. So, how many seconds are there in a day? Well, we got 60 in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, and 24 hours in a day. That's how much fuel is being consumed. And with electricity. You see how I calculate? I always ask myself, you know, per what is that thing? You know, it's like here, duration times that. Now, electricity is per what? Per minute. So we got like 60 minutes in, a, in, a, in an hour and 24 hours in a day. There you go. Oh, see? Now, see what happened? I forgot to, to fix that B14. And uh, when I, when I autofill it down, the D3... Is right that's what I want but it becomes B15 and we haven't got anything in B15 so that's why we got a zero I want to avoid that so what I do is I click in there and I do in Excel in Excel you do F4 you you, you go on the F4 key, uh, key. in uh, in LibreOffice or OpenOffice you take shift F4 and you got it now if I autofill down I maintain that B14 all the way down okay I hope you guys, I hope that's now clear for you guys. I mean, how to calculate with time. Always important to uh, to add those factors. In this case, the 24. In this case, the 60, 60, and 24. In this case, 60 and 24. The nice thing about this kind of calculations, you can, you can really calculate to the second very precisely what your costs are or what your income is or whatever. You know, all you got to remember is using these factors.